You often see Israel supporters sharing this quote from Zuhair Mohsen, military commander of the PLO and member of the PLO Executive Council. So this is a Palestinian resistance fighter and he said, the creation of a Palestinian state is only a means for continuing our struggle against the state of Israel, for our Arab unity. In reality today, there is no difference between Jordanians, Palestinians, Syrians and Lebanese. Only for political, tactical reasons do we speak today about the existence of a Palestinian people. So he's making the point that Palestinians are the same as Jordanians and Zionists love pointing this out because they say, why don't you go and live in Jordan in that case? Now, crucially, this individual, Zuhair Mohsin, was a member of the Ba'ath Party, previously active in the Jordanian wing of the Ba'ath Party. He was chosen for his position after Defence Minister Hafez al-Assad's takeover in Syria. So Hezbollah Ba'ath are an Arab nationalist party who view the whole Arab nation as a single entity. So it's no wonder that he regards Lebanese and Palestinians and Jordanians to be part of the same nation. He's a Ba'athist, like Bashar al-Assad, like Saddam Hussein, although they're from two different factions within the Ba'ath party. They are an Arab nationalist party. And even if that's true, or you believe that Palestinians are the same ethnicity, speak the same language as Jordanians, why would that mean it's okay to drive them out of their land? Why would that mean they don't have the right to go back and live where they came from, where they were kicked out of, in Haifa and Yaffa, in whatever town they were residing in? Why would the fact that you speak the same language as someone else negate your human rights? We can go on about nationality. Many different nationalities didn't exist 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 1,000 years ago. The inconvenient truth for the Israelis and the Zionists is that the Palestinians do exist, whether they follow the Ba'ath Party's doctrine and think that they're part of the larger Arab nation, whether they're a PFLP communist and they think the workers of the world should all unite, or they're a Hamas Islamist and they're fighting an Islamic form of resistance. It doesn't matter what doctrine they follow, the Palestinians have the right to resist the ethnic cleansing that has gone on in their homeland and the genocide that is unfolding right now.